Yes, baby. Black women ain't no joke. But see, I'm going to tell you something. You see, white women, when y'all do get mad, y'all go too motherfucking far. See, we, we shows our ass. We'll call your mother a couple bitches and throw rocks in your window, but that's as far as we're going to go without shit. A white bitch will cut your dick off. <laughs> See, and that's white women shit. Black women, we know better. That dick is our support factor. That ain't going to motherfucking place. What the fuck was she thinking about? She cut that boy dick off and threw it upon the forest. What in the fuck was she thinking about? Black women, we got common sense. We don't give a fuck what that nigga did. My man could have whipped my ass and closed my right eye up. And I'm standing over his dick with the scissors, looking at it. Mm. Mm. And it's in the morning time. Oh, Lord Jesus! And he ain't peed yet. <laughs> you ain't beat me that bad, motherfucker. Just call me left eye nigga shit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> we handle our shit. We handle. Let me tell you something, sisters. Now, see, we gotta stop buying other people's theories about how we don't need a man. Fuck that. Every black woman in here needs a motherfucking man by her side to make it. You can't make it without his black ass. I don't give a fuck how you dice it or how you slice it. And you stop trying to be the motherfucking man. You don't piss standing up. Sit your bitch ass down and know your motherfucking place. Y'all bitches kill me. I'm independent. That's why you brought your own motherfucking tickets here tonight with your independent ass. Know your fucking place. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, baby. And we start equating money with power. Yes, money does mean power, but not when it comes to your fucking relationship. I am married to what I think is the best motherfucker on the face of this earth, and I am the breadwinner. I make all the fucking money in my marriage, and my husband does not work because he can't read real well, but we working with that illiterate motherfucker. He be embarrassing me and shit in the restaurants, ordering shit he can't pronounce. Can I get a Dak Y? What the fuck is a Dak Y? You point to it, you ignorant bitch. <laughs> but I know my motherfucking place as his wife. You hear what I'm saying? And I give that nigga what he wants, when he wants it, and a bitch's own time when he say be there. Because I'm not losing his ass over some shit I would not do, especially when it comes to that bedroom. My husband calls me the FBIA, the freakiest bitch in America, because I will give it to his ass any kind of way he want it. And I'm gonna tell you something, ladies, for all you crazy bitches sitting out there when your man wants you to do some nasty, freaky shit, oh no, I'm not gonna do that, that's too nasty, that's too filthy. Well, what you won't do, another bitch will and his ass ain't coming back home. So if your man wants you to do some nasty, freaky, gutter ball, pornographic, slutty, whole nasty bullshit, you better get with the motherfucking program. If that nigga wants to stick his dick in your ear, lend that nigga your ear. I hear you coming, nigga, I hear you coming. Handle your motherfucking shit, baby. <laughs> Handle your shit. 